Good evening. <clears throat> Welcome to Crash. I'm going to shut this light off again. I keep forgetting to shut it off. It's a little distractive with that light above my head there. It makes me look like a saint, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for joining uh, now. Uh, Kim, good evening. Uh, joining now and those of you that will join later. This is Crash, our, one of our youth groups that meet, uh, meets every Wednesday. It is Wednesday, February 17th. Uh, we used to meet in, a, in the back of, uh, of Serena's house where she lived. Uh, used to fill the place with uh, young people. We would use every nook and cranny in that room. Good evening, Tina. Wow, good to have you. Meeting the evening, Emma. Um, so I want to thank those of you that continue to watch these devotions. Uh, thank you, young people that have stayed committed to the youth. Do you realize it's been almost one year now since we've met, 11 months since we've met uh, as a youth group? That's almost a year. Looking forward to when we can get back together again in person. But thank God we've been able to do these videos in the meantime. So uh, we're going to do another one tonight. So God, we ask that you would be with us. Um, oh, I forgot to turn this light off. Uh, here's what I want to talk about tonight, okay? Some of you are getting older now. I think of Riley, I think of Rhiannon, I think of Isaac, I think of Sammy, who's a senior, um, even even Manny. Some of you are getting older now, and uh, uh, Caesar, I'm sure, has experienced it. I know that uh, Alexis has experienced it, and, uh, and that's fallen deeply in love with someone, Okay? Some of you have experienced it, um, many of you haven't yet, but I'll guarantee you, you will. You will experience it in your lifetime. You will find someone that you fall in love with. Uh, when that happens, you get a, an unbelievable feeling in the pit of your stomach. It's just kind of like, it's a feeling that you, that you just won't go away. It's a feeling that's incredible. Uh, you you want to be with that person all the time. Um, he or she is all you can think of. Um, you literally can't get enough of that person. <laughs> and then when you kiss them, it's even stronger feelings. That's falling in love. Great, great experience. Great, great experience. Good evening, Gloria. Good evening, John. Um, if you haven't experienced fall in love yet, eventually you will. All of you young people, you, you will feel it. Uh, you will experience it. But, but these are just feelings. And as strong as they are, feelings don't last forever. Uh, they change with different circumstances. Uh, many of you will experience hardship when the person that you love leaves you for someone else. Uh, you'll be broken hearted. Um, so many go through that. So many go through that. That's a terrible feeling. Terrible feeling. I can remember years ago when I was working with youth, <clears throat> there was a young man, I think he was a junior in high school, that was going with this girl for at least a year, if not two years, and she left him. And I remember him coming over to our house, uh, and and he, and he was sitting on our on our couch, in the corner of our couch, and just literally curled up like a like a like a child, uh, just whimpering, and couldn't couldn't talk, couldn't talk. My wife and I were trying to get him to start to share things, his feelings, and it just he was just in total pain, total pain as a result of him being so in love with this girl, and her dumping him. Uh, so love is a very strong emotion, very strong, strong emotion. Um, love, love is fantastic when the other person loves you, and it hurts when the other person stops loving you. Uh, I'm going to sing a song here. Uh, good evening, Henry. Uh, I'm going to sing a song to you. It's called The Rose. Uh, <clears throat> I'll try to sing it for you, okay? Some say love, it is a river 
that drowns the tender reed. Some say he love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say he love, it is a hunger, an endless aching deed. I say he love, it is a flower, and you it's only seed. When the night has been too lonely, and the road has been too long, and you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong. Far beneath the bitter snow lies a seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes a rose. You're going to have a seed inside of you that's going to grow and become a rose. And someone's going to fall in love with you. Someone's going to fall in love with you. And they have all kinds of definitions for love. All kinds of definitions. We're going to look at God's. Because God has the greatest definition of love, okay? We're going to look at how God describes love. And we're going to look at it in, in, in respect to, to you young person, people, falling in love with someone. This is what God tells us. And in, in, in 1 Corinthians 13, God says that love, first of all, love is patient. Love is patient. You're, 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 you're willing to wait without getting annoyed. You're going to, you're probably, you might fall in love with someone that, that you say you're going to pick them up at seven o'clock and you get to the house at seven and they're not even close to being ready. And then it's 7.30 and before you know it, it's 7.45. When you love someone, you're patient. You're willing to wait without getting annoyed. It says love is kind. It's being generous and considerate. It's opening the car door for someone. It's, it's pulling the chair back for them to sit down. It's, it's paying for the date. Using your hard-earned money to pay for the date. It says love does not envy. It doesn't resent anything that that person does or says. It just accepts them. Love does not boast. You don't sit there bragging about yourself. You don't sit there on your date with someone that you love and all you're doing is talking about yourself. Love is not proud. You don't think too highly of yourself. You consider the other person best at that time. Love is not rude. You're well-mannered and you're plight. Love is not self-seeking. You put your that day, you put your date ahead ahead of yourself with everything, no matter what, no matter what. If you were planning on ordering a certain food and your date said, "Hey, let's share this meal together," and it's something you wouldn't not have ordered but you do it because you love the person and you're not self-seeking love does not get easily angered you don't allow anything they say to to bother you anything they say or anything they do you don't allow it to bother you love keeps no record of wrongs you're willing to forget anything that they did do wrong if they did do something to hurt you, if they did say something to hurt you, you, you don't keep a record of it. You, you forget it. Do these things. Do these things when you find that person. When you find that person that you fall in love with. Do these things. And then that love will last. Because love, love is a feeling. Love is an emotion. And, and love can, can, can be there today and gone tomorrow. But if you work at it, if you really work at it, if you apply these things that God just gave us uh, about love, if you apply these things, that, that love stays strong. Now, 
it's going to be it's going to be incredible for you. <laughs> it's going to be incredible for you, Sammy. If I don't think you have yet, but I know that you're going to find a guy. Or you're going to find someone that you're going to fall deeply in love with, and you're going to get those goosebumps and the, and the pit of your stomach, and you're just going to be like on cloud nine, and that person is all you can think about. And this is true for the rest of you. Henry, that was true with you. That was true with you when you married when you got before you, when you got married. It's true with all of you that are that are watching this. Uh, love is love is incredible. Love is incredible. It, it it even it even defines God. The scripture says God is love. God. Now that's a different kind of love. It's a different kind of love. It's an agape love. We just give expecting nothing in return. And you can do the, have that kind of love for anyone, even a stranger. But this is a different kind of love. This is a love between two people where they fall in love. When they fall in love. And that's all they think about is one another. And they spend hours on the phone talking together. And they're, and they're constantly sending messages via social media. And they're... And the, and the, their lives are just like, like this. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. And I hope that you young people get a chance to experience that. But don't look for it too soon. Don't look for it too soon. I don't think anyone should ever be in a position to fall in love until they're at least a senior in high school. Prior to that point where you're just too young and too immature or not ready for those kind of strong, strong emotions. Uh, my thought, anyway. Let me close with a prayer. Father, I pray for everyone that's watching this and going to watch this, every young person. God, I pray that you would bring that person into their life uh, that was meant to be with, that they can fall in love with and experience that, 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 that a tremendous joy that there is in, in falling in love with someone. But God, I pray that it's the right person. I pray, God, that, it, that they keep that love pure and they don't make it impure. I pray, God, that they follow all of these definitions that you've given in 1 Corinthians of what real love is like. Uh, God, be a part of their lives. Amen. Hey, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, I know this is a little different topic, but I thought we'd probably be ready for it, many of you. Um, now, to, for those of you parents that are watching, uh, as you know, uh, every morning we have our day of the devotion. So I'm hoping to see many of you tomorrow night, uh, or tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And then tomorrow night will be our Bible study. So thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I hope that many of you will share this video. God bless you. Have a great, great night.